Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. I want to go over the field piece SC uh, 480 and 680 meters. A little bit different than a redfish meter, if you've seen me use those before, just in the, as far as the way the meter's used. I have two of them hooked up here. I've got them hooked to a 110 volt and a 220 volt circuit. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn the meters here on just a second and get them running. Now, one thing that's a little bit different about these meters is the Bluetooth is off by default. So when I turn these two meters on here, uh, two things are going to happen. They're going to start beeping right away because they're connected to an electrical source. That's something the field piece does. And I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth on them both. And at this point now, I'll be bringing in, I have power factor and power on both meters. In your toolbox, if you turn on field piece meters or turn on field piece probes and you scroll down, you're going to see your, uh, your multimeters here. And one of them's showing OL on it uh, because its polarity is reversed. So what I'm gonna have to do is swap these two around here. And this has just got a, it's polarity sensitive, meaning that the, if you're measuring on the red wire with the voltage, you gotta be on the red wire when you're also measuring power. So now you can see it's coming in at 15.5 uh, um, kW. And it looks like this meter's not on yet, white wireless, so we'll bump it on. And then there, there comes in the 480. So now you can see I got both meters and power factor on both. Now this is currently mapped to electrical, meaning that it's going to use the same meter for both, but in this case here, I'm going to map the, uh, I'm going to cancel for a second. So the 1.5 kW is my uh, condenser. I'll map it to the condenser. And then my other one here, I'm going to map to the air handler. So now if I go to the home and I go into my electrical readings, you'll see that I have my evaporator fan, uh, power factor, and my watts, so I'll capture that. And my condensing unit, power and watts, I'll capture that. So now I'm going to switch this over and you'll notice that the meter went past off. So I have to turn back on the wireless and I have to hit the select key. So I have volts and amps uh, on the display. And I bumped my inrush button here. So we'll do this again. Select and there we go. So now I've got that going and I'll turn this one also over here and turn the wireless back on and hit the select button. So now uh, MeasureQuick connects automatically. So now you can see I have my voltage and amperage for my evaporator fan capture and now uh, for my condensing unit. And now I have all my readings coming in. So if I hit continue and I go to my uh, performance here, you can see I have seven EER on the condensing unit. So that's about all there is to it. Uh, when you're done, you can just obviously turn them off and, uh, and that'll do the trick. So that's all there is to it. This is Jim with MeasureQuick. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm irritated. So I'm gonna get the wireless on here. This, this meter's broken. I don't know why. I'm sure, normally I'd move it, but then I'm gonna move it to wattage here. And it just decided to shut off randomly in the middle of my video. So now when I go in the project here and hit the, you know what, I'm not recording. I'll just clear these four out. Um, my phone just shut off the screen recording. Oh, cause I have this 35 minute video on here. And half the probe shut off on me too all of a sudden. It just was bizarre, but it's okay. I'm just doing electrical measurements. All right, ready? Hey, Jim Bergman with Redfish Instruments. I did that by accident. Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Wanted to go over a little bit today on the field piece X, the, I'm sorry, one more time. Onto the air handler. What's up? You can use a one meter for all your readings, or you can, again, use two 680s, two 480s. You can use a 680 and a 480, whatever combination you desire. Um, but that's all there is to using the Redfish meter. Just watch that your Bluetooth. All right, you gonna just cut it there? Yeah. All right, here, wait, we'll just do, we'll just do an outtake. Ready?